Sometimes I don't let them think. Yep. And that tells me the weight of this whole piece, right? So now I got a 20 by 20 slab down there. And I know I can't lift it. It would behoove me to know what the weight really of this is too, so I know how to break it. And stuff, right? So your math is exactly the same. Width times thickness times one foot of length. Well, tell me the whole length. One foot of length times 150 tells me the weight of linear foot of this. Right? So instead of saying by five foot, I simply said by one foot. It tells me the weight per foot. Now it doesn't matter how long this beam is, I can knock off chunks because I know what my count is. When you say linear foot, are we talking about a foot up on the width? Whatever direction you didn't already measure. So if I measure this times this, one time this every time is one. And so it would be the, the whole width, one foot. Yes, okay. yeah. So you, when you make your cut, you just, you'd have to make sure you cut across the whole thing each time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be the key. Yeah. That gives me my weight per linear foot again. Uh, heavy reinforced rebar, say uh, usually eight inches thick or less, you'll usually have one run crisscrossing in there. You get over eight inches, you'll start doubling up on the rebar. You might want to jump up to 180 on your way from the concrete. You know, bridges, stuff like that are going to be heavy laden with steel. Columns, a lot of times you'll, you know, you'll have rebar the entire inner perimeter of that column, plus your lacing. So you might go to 180. Never hurts to overestimate for your safety factor. That's about it on that. Um, so good.